Hello. Uh, we are talking now about Sanzer Station. I'm Besford Guri uh, from Kosovo, mem uh, board member at Flusk, uh, as well running a small company, Open Spatial Information Network, where we work with uh, open uh, software based on GIS tools uh, and do different projects in Kosovo. Um, um, as well, member at OpenStreetMap Foundation and humanitarian OpenStreetMap team. Uh, we are talking uh, today about uh, sensor station project, and in this slide, uh, I'm trying to explain to you how the the, the project uh, was born. Um, so, in Pristina hackerspace, or which is uh, a space that is run uh, by Flask, basically, and we have members. Uh, uh, there we do a lot of open hardware experiments uh, and projects. Um, so uh, basically we do um, different projects uh, based on our open uh, hardware where we use different tools uh, as I will explain later. But how the, the, the entire project started, one of our members, Liz, uh, installed a lot of uh, air quality sensors around uh, Pristina and Kosovo as well. Uh, and they used the loop datum platform for uh, saving the data and then do some data visualization with uh, tool, this tool, loop datum that info. Um, then we said, uh, okay, we, we need to add more um, sensors to that. And then we, we had this uh, idea from Arianit that we will do uh, weather stations. So now we call the project sensor station. Uh, in the future, we are planning to add um, much more sensors, um, basically, to this uh, to this project. Uh, normally, based on this uh, project, uh, the theme of SFK 2020 was decided um, in the concept that sensor speaks. The, the the idea was that the sensor sent the data to us, and then this data can be used in data visualization, and uh, that people can understand more easily uh, how is air quality, for example, or what is the weather and type like this. Uh, how we will implement this project, uh, the idea uh, in the beginning was that we will install seven station and six schools uh, in different towns. Uh, and the, the, the idea is that um, it's not that we want to go and install bar by ourselves, but we will do the trainings uh, with the high school students uh, on hardware, software, and data visual visualization. Let's go uh, more deep to the components that we are using. So the weather station as well, air quality uh, station is based on ESP32. Uh, microcontroller. Um, uh, for the, the weather station, we are using wind speed sensors, wind direction sensor, and rain gauge sensor. Uh, normally, uh, as well, we are using different sensors for air, air quality, such as gas sensors, optical dust sensor, temperature and humidity, pressure, and uh, different uh, other sensors. Uh, now the project, uh, after we present it to one of our partners, Asset, um, we, uh, now we are talking with them that we will implement uh, in, seven, uh, in three more schools. So basically now we will have uh, around ten, uh, nine locations uh, in different uh, uh, area. And here you can see a map uh, where the, the, sensor, uh, the uh, sensors uh, will be installed, like in Vustri, Pristina, uh, Lipian, Suare, Graovets, and Prizran. Um, let's talk more about the trainings that uh, we will do. So basically, we will have three trainings, as I explained in the beginning. The first training will be soldering and mounting the, the hardware in um, the schools together with the students. So we will. Uh, this is in the picture one. You can see how the components and the uh, PCB uh, is uh, r right now, and how the students are getting this. Uh, uh, this hardware, then they will uh, sold sold them out uh, one by one, and implement uh, in mounting in, in different areas in the school. Uh, normally, without coding, we cannot get any data. So basically, we will do some coding uh, in the hardware. We will teach them how they can code uh, in the hardware, 
and uh, also send this data to the, the servers where they can get then the data to do the data visualizations. The concept with the data visualization is that we will teach them some of the tools that they, they can use for data visualization, but also the data will be uh, public, so everyone can use this data in the future for um, do doing s different studies about air quality in different uh, cities. So basically, the, the data will be open as well. Uh, thank you. This is my presentation, and thanks. Hey, Miss Fort, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Hey, Miss Fort. So I I had a couple of questions. Thanks for for the presentation, by the way. Uh, very very nice project and very interesting. The first question would be: uh, Is there uh, is there any plans to replicate this on other cities, not only in Kosovo, but maybe in the region or other cities in other countries? Uh, if yes, where where is the like, are you planning to document the process so that it's easy to repli uh, replicable by uh, by others? Uh, actually, with Flusk, we don't have any plan to implement uh, in different uh, countries. Uh, but we will document uh, everything and uh, what devices we used and how we used uh, as well. The source code will be. Uh, open source, so anyone can Im implement easily in different cities in different countries. Uh, and and uh, how has been the reaction so far from the people that have seen the project or, or people that have been exposed to it? Uh, in what, what the thing? What's the thing that they like most in your in your opinion? Well, the project starts started before the the pandemics. Uh, and then uh, we we had to stop for a while during the implementation and everything else. Uh, but uh, the the first thing that we run right now is that uh, we went and visit all the schools. Uh, I, I mean the six schools that we will implement the project, and uh, the 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 feedback was really good. So the, uh, everyone was happy. And uh, um, now. Uh, with uh, the process uh, that the schools are opening Kosovo and now we can implement the project more easily uh, so we can uh, uh, be in touch with students and see how the implementation will go. So in case someone wants to help you and get involved uh, with the project, where, where can, can he or she find any information? Uh, uh, in one of your previous presentations, it won't be, can you share some links for about the forum? Or can people join to the hackerspace and help you with that? And if yes, can you, can you uh, list some uh, links or, or, the, or where the hackerspace is and how they can find you? Uh, well, they can, uh, everyone can be in touch with us uh, and I'm sharing in same time the link is forum.plus.org where they can contact us uh, for the implementation of the project and uh, see more result about it. Uh, and as well, they can visit Pristina Hackerspace where, where we have uh, uh, in Wednesdays the open meetings and everyone is welcome. So they can come to the hackerspace, which is in uh, Street Ganimeta Terbeshi uh, Aktash Pristina. So everyone is welcome, basically. Awesome. And one last question uh, before informing the, the audience about the, the presentations uh, that start tomorrow, and also thanking you. Uh, what is the uh, what What is your uh, obviously you're going to have some data at some point from uh, these weather stations. And uh, of course, they're going to be get uh, moderated, and some kids are going to learn uh, how they operate, and probably going to be the next engineers. But what about the data and the government bodies? Do you think uh, do you have any plans to show them about the, all the elements that you are measuring for the quality of air or uh, or any other elements? Or your focus is only 
for the kids to learn? Uh, the, the first thing is that we want to teach kids uh, about this hardware and how they can use this data. Uh, but uh, for example, during my presentation, I mentioned uh, the project of Lizis, uh, where uh, he implemented some um, uh, sensors about air quality. Uh, the, the concept uh, after that was that we will compare the data together with the government bodies uh, data. So that, that was the concept. And I think it's easily when you have the data to, to compare with uh, other sources. And maybe as well, if they are open, you can um, make a software where where you can uh, combine these two sources and stuff like that. So you, we are talking about the citizen science project, which uh, yes. empowers the citizens, but also the, the local governments. Thank you very much. Uh, the if you for everyone else you can see the agenda at uh, sfk.plus.org and uh, the first presentation tomorrow starts at 10 uh, with uh, Daniel Pokok and uh, where he's going to talk about home automation. Therefore, thank you very much. Thanks to all the